Welcome in all my friends, Lazy Retired Granny here. It is Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. The time is 6.57 p.m. or no, a.m. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> here in Overcast, Salem, Oregon. I am continuing my journey on number 10 of 12 of the mystery pack that I have from Amazon. I do one once a month. This one is a challenge. And as you can see, I'm doing the whole painting <laughs> at one time. And what I found out is that with the cover sheets on it, it was making it a little bit darker and I wasn't able to see the symbols as well. So I made the executive decision that I just do one color at a time. I am now on color 10. And yeah. So this painting has not been one of the best that I've done. It's getting a little bit easier to do it. But I'm still getting that powdery something dust on the drills. I'm too lazy to go clean the drills. Sometimes they're okay, sometimes they're not. So it is taking me a little bit longer to do this painting. So I just try to do the sections of color. If I miss any, then when I've gone through all the colors, then I'll Go back and fill in the blanks. So yesterday, I had a project to do. And as you know, I try to have one project a day that I do that I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just something that needs to be done that I put off and then I do it. And sometimes they're just little projects that only take, you know, maybe half an hour. And then I got my big projects that sometimes take me all day. <laughs> Yesterday's project, remember when we had the leak in the stairwell and I had to take everything out of the storage cupboards? Yeah, well, I still had stuff stacked up in my bathroom that... Um, I'm looking for use that needed <clears throat> to be put back in the storage cupboard. And when that leak happened, I was had to take everything out of the storage cupboards. And so at that time, I started going through things and thrown away and gifting and blah 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 well that project's still ongoing so but anyway um so now i'm just down to one storage cupboard and 
and anyway, I still had stuff stacked up in the bathroom. And I don't know if you can, I guess you can. Um, so anyway, yesterday I got in the bathroom and got all that stuff sorted out. And then I had a, in the stairwell, I had a bunch of boxes and stuff stacked up. And so I cut those down, got those out of there, and just kind of worked on that area a little bit. I'm not done yet, but my bathroom has more room in it now. And then I was putting away all my summer stuff because now we're getting into fall. Although it is supposed to warm up into the 80s, I think this weekend. But not, I was looking and last year at this time, we were into the 90s. I don't remember that, but Apparently, we were. Which is odd. We had kind of a mild winter. We got a couple snow days, but it wasn't like we were snowed in or anything. Just a dusting. Just enough to delay the schools a couple hours or, you know, that kind of thing. But here, if they've got snow in the forecast, even though it has not snowed, everything gets delayed immediately. And then the snow doesn't arrive or it's just a dusting. <laughs> it's always an exciting time. <laughs> and then there's other times they do not predict snow and yeah we get tons of snow the weather here is very very hard to predict we are kind of in this area where it can change because we have the mountains we have the Flow coming down from Alaska and Canada. And then we've got the ocean right here. So yeah, it's... At least that's their excuse, so... It doesn't matter to me. Now that I don't work, I uh, don't have to be out you 
you know, commuting. So I can just sit back and laugh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it when it snows though. I Even if it's here and gone in a flash, it's still pretty. It just makes everything so quiet and peaceful. So if it snows, be prepared for some videos of our big snowstorms here. <laughs> In Salem. <laughs> oh. I'm looking for yous. I'm looking for yous. These are hard to see because. They're pretty close to the G's. Oh. oh, come on. I'll move the light over a little bit. Just see what I'm doing. I'm up on that part right now. So I may get up there and finish up my stairwell project. That won't take me very long. I mean, it's like a 15 minutes. I'll be done. But I have to go upstairs three, four steps. And going up those steps quite a bit hurts my knee. So I can only do it for a short amount of time well if I miss some use that's okay I'll come back to it and then um, my son has his gallbladder appointment with the surgeon today so I'm going to have to leave probably around 2 and go pick him up. And then the appointment is clear out south. So that's going to take about... I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes to drive. Okay, down here now in the V's. Sure, what does it say here? I wrote it down. Let's see what it says, how far out it is. Google Maps. Okay, what's the address? I've never heard of this place before. I know they did um, um, let's 
Okay, so from my house, it's about 20, 25 minutes from my house. But it is a straight shot down here. Trying to figure out what else is out there. go past my old grade school yeah it's it's out there away so I haven't been out in that part of the woods in a long time Bring back memories. That's where I grew up. I bet that's really changed. Yeah, I probably haven't been out there in, oh my gosh. When was the last time? I'd say that's been at least <clears throat> 20 years. I know they redid all that area that used to be like all farmland out there and they put in housing and all kinds of stuff out there it's really built up since the 50s <laughs> and 60s when I lived there Yeah, where I grew up was a new housing um, district, I guess, whatever. Um, and the school that I went to, it was an old school. And then I think it was like a six-room schoolhouse. And then they built... They added on to it, and the original part of the school, they still use that. And the top floor, though, was condemned. And 
I was the last fourth fourth grade class to be on the second floor and then they shut all that down and I do believe that old part is not there anymore and I went there for all six years and when I was in the second grade they had added on to the school and I was <clears throat> the first second grade class <clears throat> to go into that new building that they added and you actually had to go outside of the school and then around to the to those classrooms so they weren't in the main part of the school and then there was a part of the school that was had stairs to go down and there was more classrooms there i always wanted to have a classroom there but i never did it's never in that part of the school it'd be interesting to go and take a tour of that school now to see what it because I know they've probably done a bunch more changes you know in the last 60 years And the principal that we had, everybody was scared of him. Oh my gosh, he was a big man. And uh, I'm sure he was very friendly, but he was just no-nonsense type of guy. And... Everybody was scared of him. Then I think he, I'm not for sure, but he left. I think when I was going into the sixth grade, if I remember right. And our next principal, I would say he was a nerdy, you know, type of fella. He was just the opposite. of the prior principal. <laughs> yeah, I did read where the original principal, he passed away, oh my gosh, years ago. Yeah, too bad they didn't have, or maybe they do, I don't know, where people who went to that school, you know, could come back and tour it and just have memories of it. I've got a bunch of pictures. I 
I should drag those out. And be kind of fun. I started there in 59, so... So yesterday when I was doing my project, I put a bowl of stew in the hot logic and let it warm up in there. stew for dinner well a really early dinner what else did I do yesterday oh I did get some excitement yesterday so I can't remember when it was but Safeway had a class action lawsuit <laughs> And it had to do with their meat sale back in 2015. And if you used your club card and bought meat during this time, you were part of the class action lawsuit. <laughs> and you know, those class action lawsuits, you might get, you know, five bucks or something. I don't know. Not very much. But anyway, I got notice of it. And so I put my name in the hat and, you know, promptly forgot about it. And in the mail... I got, I noticed it was from, you know, a notice about this class action lawsuit yesterday. So I thought, oh, they're probably just giving me an update and, um, you know, if I still want to be part of it. So I opened up the letter and there was a check inside. <laughs> Guess how much the check was for? You will not believe it. Okay, got your guesses in? $200. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was doing a little dance. So I thought, oh man, this comes at right the right time because my car insurance is due... <clears throat> the 1st of November, and <clears throat> um, I pay six months at a time because if you pay six months, you get a bigger discount if you pay it in full rather than monthly. And, oh my gosh, my savings... Is practically depleted because of the vet bill and then I got it paid off and then of course Ellie's pet plan started <laughs> um, October 1st 
and I've paid that I've paid three months so far over pet plan so try to get it paid off as soon as possible I'm going to try to pay three months at a time but anyway um, I thought oh hallelujah I'm putting that towards my car insurance <laughs> and it's like oh my gosh every time I get a little extra I have to pay a bill I don't ever get to splurge on anything <laughs> had so many extra expenses lately but that's okay because I was kind of worried about that I <clears throat> I am one that tries to uh, pay my bills in advance so that if anything comes up so yeah so hopefully my and luckily I do that because that really helped with the vet bill that I was paid ahead in some of my other bills so I could use that bill money for the month to put towards her that bill um, and my garbage bill which was my garbage bill I had paid through December so I'm hoping <laughs> I can, um, and I think my electric bill, that's a tricky one. Um, hopefully that is paid through March. And then I have my renter's insurance. I think that's due in June. And I pay it in full so that I save some money on it for paying in full. The garbage bill here is really expensive. <laughs> so. But I pay the full garbage bill, and David and I share the garbage, but I pay the full garbage bill, and he pays the full internet bill or whatever that is so that works out other son that lives upstairs he's um, he doesn't share garbage with us so
nice story. A lot of bees in this one. Wow. I'm going to be on these bees for a while. This is really going to fill in the picture a lot. Oh my gosh, I'm at 35 minutes. Woo! Woo, doggy! <laughs> okay, well, I've rambled on enough. So, I will chat with you later. Have a great day, and thanks for stopping by.